Retro Unboxing Hello viewers, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jonathan and thank you very much for watching. On this occasion you are just getting my voice uh, in voiceover format. I uh, had to film this video kind of on the fly in between doing things so it was purely uh, just camera on phone and not camera on my face but uh, I'm sure some of you may not complain about that but uh, anyhow we're gathered here today to witness a monumental uh, occasion in the lifetime of this iPhone and it was something I didn't necessarily want to do I was quite happy to keep the iPhone on iOS 5.1.2 and keep it as original as possible the problem was that as part of the unboxing video so uh, a, a few days ago I did an unboxing of this phone if you haven't watched that video I would obviously highly recommend you uh, go back and give it a watch but the biggest issue I had was for part of that video I wanted to demonstrate what photo quality and video quality the original iPhone 4 had but unfortunately it's now really difficult to sync an old iPhone that's running 5.1.2 with iCloud and, and all that kind of stuff they're just no longer supported and that's fine that's fair enough no issue so how do we work around it I did try syncing it with um, my own iCloud the, the biggest issue I would have had with that was that if it decided to try and upload all of my photo stream onto this iPhone 4 because I've got something like 10,000 photos plus videos on my photo stream so I don't want all of that trying to upload on onto this iPhone so I wanted a quick and easy way of just getting the photos and videos that I'd taken on the on this iPhone 4 off of the iPhone 4 onto my laptop so I could add it to Final Cut and produce that video. The photos didn't seem too much of a difficulty because I was able to just sync it with my Mac through Finder and and it it sort of synced the photos but it just wouldn't do it for the video frustratingly so the solution I came up with or the the thought I had was well let's update the iPhone to 7.1.2 and see what um, software see what apps I can put onto that version of the software ah no let me rewind a little bit I thought that with 7.1.2 I would have airdrop now I believe the software does work with airdrop but I don't think it looks like well it doesn't work with an iPhone 4 maybe it came to iPhone 4s or 5 I don't know I haven't checked so I thought oh, I'll, up I'll, I'll update to 7.1.2 and have airdrop unfortunately airdrop didn't work you may see that I, I may have uh, tried that during this video so I'm just going to leave you to watch the iPhone updating and you can have a look while I have a little browse around 7.1.2 it's beautiful I do have fond memories of it I have fond memories of all of these iPhones and, um, and all the old software and that kind of stuff but um, I'll just pause there for a moment
So just here you'll see there's a few uh, photos and videos here that have uh, re-synced uh, with, with the iPhone. I originally took those uh, on the unboxing video and these are the little videos that I just wanted to get off of the phone. Pretty simple you would think. Unfortunately not on this occasion but I... Uh, I'm tenacious and I believe that there is always a solution on this occasion as you'll see there YouTube not available so that is not the solution and uh, and that seemed to be the case with a lot of features you know on this phone they're just not available uh, you know it's an old an old version it's just not supported and it's totally understandable that it is no longer supported. Vimeo uh, would have been a native-ish kind of app or a suggested app back in the day. Again, unfortunately, not supported. So I continued my search, uh, or certainly continued having a look at uh, what else I could do with this phone. Thought I'd type in a good little number there. And yeah, you can see, unfortunately, the actual native uh, files app didn't want to download either. That, as stated, required iOS 11. Uh, so, what to do? What to do? So, I've tried a few other third party kind of file sharing apps, but none of them unfortunately worked. Then I thought, ooh. What about if I email? I could email these files to myself. And after a little bit of trying to log into one of my email accounts, I just it just wasn't having it. I then found what looked like maybe an older version of the YouTube app. And uh, this looked promising for a moment or two. But again, alas when it came to uh, getting getting logged in it just wouldn't have it. it it looked like it was working and then it just bloody didn't so at this point i was pretty much about to uh, start pulling hair out or crying or you know rocking back and forth in a corner or something until i came across one drive one thing I have always liked about the Apple App Store is that you can re-download the original version of that app, assuming that you downloaded it at the time. And this looks like one of those examples. So, for example, if, if I picked up a 2015 MacBook and the current version of Final Cut Pro didn't work with it, it would still allow me to use the 2015 version of Final Cut Pro, assuming that I downloaded it at the time. And that's really good. So luckily, thank you very much to Microsoft for however, you know, still supporting this this old version of iOS with their app. It's still there, it's still on the App Store, you can still download it and it still works perfectly so this was it this was that magical little moment where i knew i could get all of the photos and videos off of this iphone 4 onto my mac onto you know more modern devices so i could actually do something with that video and with those photos so yes excited so you can see there the videos and photos are uploading my hand is also very excited and effectively the rest of this video sort of plays out showing the transfer process I must apologize my mic seems to just keep peaking now and then apologies um, so yeah the rest of the video just plays out it's just basically um, these photos and videos transfer into OneDrive and then they 
basically appear immediately on uh, on my modern iPhone. Just incidentally, I mean, look at the difference in size of these things. I mean, I I would I would love to go back to a smaller phone. I did have one of the um, iPhone minis, the 12 or the 13 mini, a few years ago, but just didn't quite cut the mustard. There I am, look. You've only had my face today. I did promise that my face wouldn't appear in this video and it appears that I lied because there I am in the kitchen. Yeah, I do like the quality of the, of the, uh, the quality, the quality of the camera on the, uh, on the old iPhone 4. It's really good. Even what, 12, 13 years later? So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Bit of a bit of a boring one, to be fair. Uh, I'll show a couple of these videos on uh, on here just um, so you can see that quality. But if you want to see them in full and you want to see it properly, go back and watch the other video. But uh, in the meantime, here's another last little bit of footage of this very sexy little iPhone 4. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye now. Retro Unboxing